think that's made more volume. I don't know, maybe I'm just uh, delusional. <laughs> I'm, I'm actually blonde. Darlings, hello, welcome, welcome back to my channel. If you've never been here before, my name is Emma Thompson Hill. Thank you for joining me today. It's been a while since I filmed, like, it's not been a while for you because obviously two videos should have gone up by now in short succession, but I actually haven't recorded maybe like three weeks recorded anything for YouTube. So here I am today, I'm vlogging. But before we get into all the shenanigans, we do have a sponsor of today's video. Thank you so much to Dermatica for sponsoring today's video. Guys, look at my skin. My skin is looking extremely healthy at the moment. And I'm just so happy. Okay, let me give you the rundown. My relationship with my skin has been on and off for a while. I have dry, dehydrated kind of skin. So it can have the tendency to just look a bit dull. I have hormonal breakouts on my chin area. And in June and July, because I was stressed and I wasn't doing my skincare routine and I was just, everything was out of whack, my skin was suffering so bad. I haven't had breakouts on my chin, like back to back breakouts for a good while. I'll have them come up every now and again when I'm due on or whatever's going on. But I was having back to back big breakouts all over my chin, almost like an infestation. I was struggling a lot with my skin, in, especially in July. And so I was like, I need to get this sorted. So I've been using Dermatica now for the past month or two, and it's been doing wonders for my skin. Not even just to keep my breakouts away, but also to help with the pigmentation around there. As you can see, I am so glowy. <laughs> I'm just so happy. I feel like I've got like the glass skin right now. So basically what this is, is personalized skincare. You do an evaluation on their website and they will recommend to you the products that your skin needs to help it thrive. There is things in this that you cannot get over the counter. This is prescription skincare. So that's what's gonna enable your skin to just look amazing. You can get a free digital consultation online and it will get delivered to your door every month. So there's no faffing about having to go out and repurchase. It'll come straight to you. Like, I don't think I've been in better nick, honestly. So if you're interested in trying this, you can click the link in my description right now and use my code and you can help clear your skin up and have it looking in its best ever condition. So you can do a free consultation right now if you click the link in my description. So this is usually £24.99 a month, but if you use my code MRT, you can get your first month for £2.90. Try it out, see how it works for you. Thank you so much to Dermatica and let's get straight back to the video. I know I was absent on YouTube for like a month. As you guys know, life was life in and I feel like so much has happened in the past couple of months. So I was just adjusting to life. And I just, yeah, I didn't want to edit. That's the thing, like recording's fine, but editing is different. Hiya. Hiya, you right? Yeah, you. Okay, I'm back. I got interrupted because my dad was calling me. I'm about to go out because I need to get some of my film developed for my film camera. And I'm going to get like the one hour processing. So while that's doing that, I'm going to edit. I'm going to go to a little cafe and edit, get a coffee. And I've been craving. I can't, let me just put you here because I'm just moving about. I've been craving this place called Mr. Sue's Noodles. I went a few weeks ago and it was really good. The dumplings are unreal. But I want like the hand pulled dry noodles. I'm craving it. So I'm going to go there as well for my lunch. I also need to stop by Chinatown to get some stuff for my house. I need to do a food shop today. So we're gonna to be doing it all. It's gonna be cute. I'm just wearing this. You know this is like my flipping uniform at this point. I was saying on TikTok, like this is all that I wear, like tight top, big pants. Um, but this is just Skims. These are ASOS. I've got some up tempos on which need to be clean now. So filthy. Let's get going. Let's go get my film developed. I'm so excited to see the pictures. And let's have a cute, wholesome day. It is busy in town today. I've just dropped off my film, so I'm gonna go get a coffee right now and then pick them up in about an hour and then I'll show you. My pictures are ready now. I just did like an hour of editing in Gales and I had a smoke salmon bagel that was so nice. I'm out of breath. But I'm gonna go pick the pictures up now. I think I also might go to Space NK and have a little nosy. got the goods. I've not looked at the digitals yet, like he's retransferred me the files, but I try not to look until I look at the actual ones so I can be surprised. So I'm gonna try and find somewhere quiet where we can sit down and have a look. Look at these on a walk here. 
because I couldn't find any that's it. And I wanted to look at them. They're really cute, I can't lie. Portugal, when my crazy girls came up to Manchester. This is cute, in McDonald's. Manchester Carnival. Notting Hill Carnival, Notting Hill Carnival. This is actually so cute. Look at this. More Portugal, more Carnival. And imagine my shock and horror when I open the pictures, the first picture I see is a picture of the guy that ghosted me. Love bombed and ghosted me in July. Look at this shit. Ugh, that was the last thing I need. Good morning, darlings. It's Saturday morning. I look very different because I faked on last night. So when I got back home last night after my noodles, which was so good, my friend and her girlfriend came over and we just chilled and I cooked for them. And yeah. So it's Saturday morning now. I'm really happy because I'm getting in a... I'm holding the camera again when I should just put it down and talk to you. I'm really happy because I'm getting in a good routine with my sleep again. Like my sleep is something that really suffers. Not that I don't have enough sleep. Like I... Well, kind of is. I just always end up going to bed late and then my quality of sleep is not great. But all of this week I've been going to bed at half past 11. Like I have been absolutely knackered come 11 o'clock. So I use this app, I've told you guys about this before. I use an app called Sleep Cycle and that monitors my sleep. So every night, well, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday and Friday night, I've got like nearly 100%. Past two nights in a row, I've got 100% sleep. Like, look at that. Last night I had seven and a half hours sleep. Thursday I had eight hours sleep. The night before I had seven hours 15, seven hours 22. And it's like, because you can be in bed. So like last night, for instance, I was in bed for nine hours, but I actually only had seven and a half hours of sleep. And I do remember I kept waking up last night and tossing and turning. And I think it's because of my tan, like I was concerned, like it was, I don't know, like I just kept, I didn't feel like comfy. I felt sticky, do you know what I mean? And it, it also records your like your um, sleep talking. Anyway, so I'm happy because my sleep's been really good. Last night, I also did my fake tan. So on Monday, just been, I went to a doll beauty event because they basically relaunched their fake tan. So I went to that and they gave me some of the fake tan. So last night I used dark. I'm not sure how I feel about it. Like I am a Saint Tropez girl. I love Bondi Sands as well, but Saint Tropez is the, the most beautiful tan you will ever use. Like I use the Lux whipped mousse. I like using mousses. But it's like a white bottle with black lid and like an aerosol can. That tan is just the most beautiful tan. You never get any streakiness. You never get any like, um, I don't know, like it's just perfect. It looks so natural and beautiful and perfect. Anyway, I've used this Doll Beauty one. It's not bad. The color is actually really nice. Like the color is real pretty, but I haven't showered it off yet. And I'm like, oh, the, considering this is the dark tan, it's not super dark, which isn't what I want. I want it to look natural. But like, can you see it's like kind of piled up on my hands. My hands look a bit orange. Every time I fake tan, I always, I've done this in one of my vlogs, probably like a, uh, what's it called when you do the vlogging at Christmas? Oh my God, what is it called? Vlogmas, oh my God. In one of my vlogmases last year, I told you guys how I fake tan. And like, I always wipe my, the palms of my hands. After I've fake tanned, I take a baby wipe, I wipe all my nails, I wipe all my cuticles, and I wipe the palms of my hands. And even though I've done that, I've still got tan on my hands. And I, I don't like that. But we're gonna shower it off now and see how it looks. Like I said, it's not, I don't know. I don't know if it's just got not, I don't know if it's just not got a crazy guide color because it looks like I've already showered. Like that's what it looks like to me, but we'll see. And I'll let you know how I like it. Okay, we've got to dry my hair. I'm going to try something new today because I obviously have very fine, bland, meh hair. <laughs> so I don't know what I want to do with my hair. Like I'm like, do I want to blow it out? Do I want to curl it? I don't know. But let's just give it the best chance in life that we can in this moment. So I'm gonna do heat protectant. I'm also gonna do, I do I need to do this if I'm doing this? Nah, let's just do this. This is a thickening spray by Bondi Boost. But I'm just gonna use a mousse. I never use a mousse and I really sh should, I just need to. So this is the VO5 big volume mousse. I think this is like the, the major key the girlies say with like fine hair to get some volume. Get it right in there. I don't know whether to like, oh. mousse is just so 2000s for me. So, what I'm gonna do is, it's so sticky, oh my God. I'm gonna blow dry it briefly 
and then I'm going to use my blow dry brush to actually like smooth it out. I just, if I use the blow dry brush straight away, it just takes me forever to dry my hair. Whereas if I give it a little bit of a blast with the dry hair dryer, it's not so bad. My hair is so fine that it literally dries so fast. So I have to work with it really quickly. Let's do the under part first. I think that's made more volume. I don't know, maybe I'm just uh, delusional. We'll find out. I'm not gonna lie. I think the mousse kind of did something. We'll see if it stays like this all day, it probably won't. But at least my hair's dry now, and then if I want to curl it later, I can. I can't believe I'm a blonde girly now. I didn't even like mean to get to this point, but I got it balayaged and then it's like, it's just progressively got blonder and blonder. I'm, I'm actually blonde. I never thought of myself like that. <laughs> but then I look back at old pictures and I'm like, oh my God, your hair actually was really dark, but that was my natural color. But it was just kind of one dimensional. Maybe I'll go dark again, but I'm really enjoying this situation. I think it suits me. Like I think being a lighter hair color suits me more than my dark, especially when I've got like a tan. Anyway, we still haven't like my roots are my natural color. Anyway. Um, I'm gonna go moisturize my body and then I'll talk you through what I think about the tan. Considering like this is dark and considering like Doll Beauty, like very glam, like I've not used Doll Beauty's tan before, but the impression I get from Doll Beauty, like super glam. I fucked my hands up, look. Look how white it is in between my flipping fingers. Anyway, but I prefer this, like I would prefer a natural tan. This actually does look like a natural tan and it's super nice. But I'll show you a better look of it in a minute. I just got to my car and realised I forgot to bring my camera. Look at this wind! The wind is really a paid actor. I'm just going to go do my food shop. My friend is going to be at mine in about 40 minutes. So I need to do this quickly. She's coming to mine because we're going out today. I forgot, I don't think I told you guys that. We're going out today. We're going to my favourite event in Manchester, Compound. It's a good day today. It's sunny because this event is outdoors. The last two they've done have been outdoors. I feel good. My hair is freshly blown. Oh yeah, I didn't tell you what I thought about the tan. Basically, I hope you guys can see me, hold on. This is such a funny angle <laughs> because you're on 0 0.5 on my phone currently. I like the tan, like it's really nice and natural. It doesn't smell like fake tan, it smells like coconuts. The only thing is it clung to my hands a little bit even though I wiped them. So I'd be wary of that. But other than that, it's a lovely tan. <laughs> Sexy school, oh yeah. Rule number three. I'm the only one that make you happy. Sadly. See what I did there. Sorry, I'm just eating some snacker jacks. I'm ready. We're about to go out. I'm so excited. My makeup turned out. So flipping good. These are wildcat lashes. If I can remember the name, I'll put it on the screen. Let me show you my outfit real quick. You're very dark, mate. <laughs> you look cute. Yeah, so this is the tan that I these jeans I got from Pray Little Thing, I need to do a try and haul for you all tomorrow because I bought some stuff from ASOS and Pray Little Thing. And I'll show you tomorrow, but right now, I'm gonna go enjoy. I'll try and record what I can, okay. Bye. Look at my glasses, they're so cute. They're from H&M. I can't cope with this, with me. Also, look at my new handbag. Is that not so cute? From ASOS. And it goes in my new jeans. I'm just so happy today. Yeah. That ain't my girl, that's my nigga. Catch me out on ocean drive with him. Catch me in the whip, ride with him. Sipping something, bumping beer, hypnotized with him. Pray you get that job in Tampa. That's only four hours away. Take a car, take a plane, baby, whichever is faster. Oh. Good morning, guys. I am hung over. Oh my god. Yesterday was so good. I didn't film anything. I got started getting drunk and then I just forgot about life. So yeah, it was so good. We ended up going to the after party. Um, I bumped into so many people that I haven't seen in ages. It's so weird thinking that I moved to Manchester two years ago. And when I moved here, like I didn't know no one. Well, obviously I knew my friends, 
obviously I didn't know no one around Manchester. And it's crazy to think how many friends I've made in the past two years. And it's lovely. It's absolutely lovely. Say we had a great time. I'm just hung over to shit. So I made my noodles. I've been craving this. And when I went to bed last night, I was thinking tomorrow I'm going to make noodles. And it's just so good. I've got the Bulldog cheesy ones today. It's too good. And I put on a shit ton of kimchi. The vibe for today is rot away in my pit. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm going to eat this. I'm going to chill for a bit. I need to shower. And then um, I think I'm going to edit some content and just get some stuff scheduled. I need to take a paracetamol. Yeah, chill vibes for today. And then I'm going to drink this and then down another one. I might go get bubble tea later with my friend. So that'd be cute. Monday, Monday evening, as you can tell it's dark. I'm just eating my dinner right now. We got some chicken thighs and some like casserole butter bean stew type shit. I don't know, but it's nice. I'm also just making some um, rice and like teriyaki chicken thighs to have for like meal prep. I want to do a bit of meal prep, so doing that. Cause I'm going to Preston tomorrow and I'm gonna stay at my mum and dad, so I'm gonna take some food with me. But today, I've not been doing much. I had a meeting this morning about like an exciting, something exciting, if I get it, I don't know, I don't know if I've got it yet. It's like a casting thing for a TV job, which would be cute, which would be fun. So we'll just see what happens there. And I've just been doing editing. So Monday I like to do like podcast stuff. Obviously a new episode drops every Monday. So I just sort out the YouTube video because that comes out on a Wednesday. So I just sort all the clips out and all of that on a Monday. And then my friend called me and was like, there's a spider in my house and I can't go into the living room. We were supposed to go on a walk together, so she was like, I can't leave the house to go on a walk when there's a spider here. This thing was not even big. So I said, I'm gonna come to your house, I will dispose of the spider, and then we can go on our walk. Anyway, went over there, got the spider, everything's cool. We sit down to chill. As we look up at the TV, there is a cricket, or a grasshopper, or I don't even know what you call it, sat on top of the television. And I was a bit more apprehensive to try and grab the cricket, because I know they jump quite fast. So we decided to go in the bedroom for a bit and ignore it. And when we came back into the living room, it was gone, disappeared. So she was like, okay, maybe it's just gone. Like maybe it's just disappeared because we left the balcony door open. And we were like, yeah. <laughs> so we went out on our walk, which was nice. Then when we came back, it was back on the TV. Anyway, I decided to just be a big girl, put my big girl pants on and go and get it. So I managed to, to grab it in some tissue and throw it away. Um, but that was hilarious. So yeah, I was just chilling there for a bit, just came home. I made my dinner and I've also been watching, I don't know if you guys watch on, on um, YouTube, Mila Tequila. She makes like pop culture videos. She doesn't post that often, but when she posts, that shit is good. So she just uploaded like a two and a half hour video, like um, about Jersey Shore and just her talking all about like that time of the 2010s. It was so good, I watched the whole thing. So I spent a lot of my day watching that, distracting myself, but I couldn't stop watching it, it was that good. So yeah, I'm gonna actually finish some work right now, eat this, and then go an early night, because I'm trying to go to bed at half 11 every night. Guys, at the moment, it gets to 11 p.m. and I am pooped. I think I did speak to you guys about this already, but yeah. But I'm just flipping knackered, man. I had a bit of makeup on today, just to do that casting earlier on. Flip me, I think I might have to. I never use my cellar water really, but I'm just feeling a bit lazy. Maybe I should just wash my face properly. I feel like I should wash my face, right? I'm trying to be a better person. And I feel like I should wash my face right now. I'll just use this. I've been really enjoying this at the moment. This is the Origins Checks and Balances Oil Cleanser. It's really good because it actually removes like makeup, but then it's just also a hydrating cleanser, if that's what you want. They sent me some stuff and I've been really been 
enjoying it. So there's this, and there's also a moisturizer that I'll put on right now that I really like from them. Anyway, you know the vibes. Dermatica, two little cheeky pumps for that. And then my Clarins Double Serum. And Origins Ginseng Energizing Gel Cream. Energizing, that probably should mean I should use it in the day, but I don't know, I just really like how hydrated it makes me. And because I feel like my tan on my face is um, wearing out a bit, because obviously I've been washing it, I'm also going to do some Saint-Tropez Luxe Tanning Drops. So we'll do about six drops of that into my cream. No, we'll do five. I feel like five today is a good number. Okay, mixy, mixy, mixy. And this has never made my hands orange, but I always do wash my hands afterwards, just to be sure. Also, I'm pretty much out of this now. It is pretty much completely empty. Can you see? It's the NARS Orgasm Lip Sleeping Mask. Sleeping lip mask? Lip mask? I don't know what it is. Orgasm lip mask. It's so nice. I'm not sure how much it is, but I think I'm going to rebuy it. I think I got sent this by NARS. But oh my God, it's so nice. And you know what else it's really nice with? When you do your makeup, if you just put a lip liner on and then use this lip mask. Because as you can see, I don't really have a colour. But it's just so hydrating and glossy and pretty. Feels amazing on the lips. So yeah, I love that. Also, opened my glossy box today. And this was in it. It's like a silicone body scrubber. How cool is that? And it has like a little finger holder. I've lost the nail, but don't worry because I'm getting them done on Wednesday. Anyway, how nice will that be in the shower? I love that. Also, my friend came over before because she had to pick something up. And she bought me a present. So my friend works in marketing for like a beauty company. So she basically was like, I bought you a present and it's a perfume. So it's by a brand called yeah, it looks French, so it looks like I'm going to butcher it. Courage. And it is Lo Delis, whatever that means. Look how stunning the packaging is. Is that not absolutely unreal? It smells really nice. Mmm, it just smells so clean. Like, it sort of, don't take this the wrong way, sort of reminds me of a perfume that, like, my nana would wear. Like, it's very classically feminine, almost bridging on masculine. Very powdery. I like to look at the perfume notes every time I get a new perfume or I'm interested in a new perfume. And when I looked, so I used the website Fragrancita. I think that's what it's called, Fragrancita. Anyway, because this is a French perfume, it's all in French. <laughs> but poudre, I'm thinking that's powder. Musk, musk, vanille, vanilla. Fruit et coque, what? Fruit? Fruits of the cock, what the hell does that mean? Right, this is time for Google Translate. Fruit de coq. Shell fruit? The fuck is a shell fruit? A fruit with a shell. Oh no, it's fruit a coq. Oh, no. <laughs> Wait, this is all sounding so seedy. Fruit of the coq, no. Don't tell me I'm the only one thinking this. Anyway, so it's got a nutty smell apparently. Amber. Yeah, powdery, musky, vanilla, nutty, ambery. Stunning. What are the main, the top notes? Macadamia, neroli. It's all in flipping French. I think that's citrus. Agrumes. <laughs> I'm correct. The GCSE French is coming in handy. What is aldehydes? Hmm. I guess we'll never know. And then middle notes of heliotrope and iris and bottom notes of white musk. It settles really nicely as well. I sprayed it a good few hours ago and it settled really nicely and stayed. It almost smells a bit peppery to me. I'm not sure. If anyone else has this, let me know if that's what you get as well. But the bottle is stunning. So I might have this as like my new little everyday fragrance. And it was very kind of her to give me that. All right, I'm going to bed now because I am knackered. It's half 11 therefore it's my bedtime. All right, bye. Voice is always so deep in the morning. 
Also, have you been noticing, like, when I edit my videos, the sound sometimes goes deeper, so it's sounding like my voice is super deep. Like, I do have a deep voice, but it's sounding super deep sometimes. So if you've noticed the issue with the audio, that's why. And I'm not really sure how to fix it without it sounding, like, alien-y. I'm just um, making a little yogurt bowl right now for me to take with me. So I do Faye yogurt, the Greek yogurt. And I do one scoop of vanilla protein. And then basically I mix that together, but it is gonna be really thick. So what I do is I just add a tiny bit of water in to loosen it up. Let me show you. I put the tap on so low, because I don't wanna add too much water. And I like literally do the tiniest splash. And then it just loosens it up. Honestly, this is so nice. I used to think that I didn't like protein powder mixed with yogurt because it was like too gritty, but I honestly think that's just vegan protein. When it's whey protein, it tastes completely normal. It tastes really nice. You literally cannot even taste the protein. It just adds whatever flavor into your yogurt. Okay, there it is. I'm gonna do a banana. I literally bought these bananas like two days ago and for some reason they're going brown, like already. Also, I had a really cute parcel come yesterday. So basically, the other morning when I woke up, I'm also gonna add strawberries. The other morning when I woke up, I saw this ad on my Instagram for this brand called Odd Coffee. So basically what they do is, they take Nespresso pods that were gonna go to landfill because either they are like, have little dents in them or they were just testers or whatever it is from a brand. They take them on and they give you like a lucky dip box and add them all in and you can basically have all these great brands of coffee for cheap. Um, like when I go supermarket, I'll, you can spend like £3.50, £4 on a pack of 10 pods and like that becomes expensive over time. And also it's just annoying because like 10 pods, if you're doing like a double espresso, 10 pods is only giving you five coffees. So I saw that and I was like, you know what, let me buy it because obviously I'm trying to buy less coffee out. I'm trying to, you know, have more coffee inside. And I do really love my Nespresso machine. I'm adding honey as well. So yeah, obviously you don't know what brands are inside or what flavors or what roast or whatever. I don't think any of them have a flavor. I think they're all just different roasts and it's like a lucky dip box. But I really don't mind that. And I've opened it, I got it yesterday, I'll show it you. And already I can see there's Starbucks pods in there, there's grind pods in there. Good shit. Basically I got this massive box for 20 pound. It, I think it's normally like 27, but then I did like a subscribe and save, which also takes a few pound off. Then there was like a join in discount, maybe like 15% off or 10% off. So I got the whole thing, 10, uh, 20 pound. And look, all the pods are in there. I love it. This is my yogurt fruit bowl. So I'm gonna put a lid on that and I'm gonna have that after the gym. All right, I'm gonna head out now because if I'm not careful, I'm gonna be late. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna be late. You know, I'm on time for everything. Okay, love you. Bye. Okay, I just left the gym. I got there a little bit late because um, there was traffic on the road for some unknown reason. Anyway, I realized whilst I was on my way here, I forgot my lunch for today. So obviously I made dinner last night and I had leftovers. And I wanted it for my lunch and I forgot it. But I've also really been craving recently this place in Preston called RK Dynam. It's basically Indian food and it is so good. I've not had it in years. Yeah, I actually want to say years. I used to eat it all the time when I lived in Preston. So I'm going to have it for my lunch later on. I ended up getting a pilau rice and a mutter paneer. So it's like paneer, peas, sauce. So good. And then I got some stuff from my mum and dad. I got like some onion bhajis and I got some petish. Is that how you call it? Petish? Petish? I don't know. Banging. But favourite thing that they do there is the cheese balls. And he just cooked them fresh for me and I need to eat one immediately. So it's like cheese and sweet corn. Oh shit. I forgot how... This was my favourite thing from there and I forgot how good this was. It smells so good. Let's bite it together. Oh, I should have asked for him to give me some tamarind sauce. Anyway. Nah, they're still just as good. So it's like, it's like potato and sweet corn and cheese fried and like so crispy and nice. This 
with some tamarind sauce. Wow. Mm -mm 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 -mm. But you can actually also sit in there. And if you sit in, definitely get a dosa or a tali or pani puri or a chat. In fact, eat it all because all the food there is so good. Okay, I'm gonna go do some work now. I really need to edit some stuff and just do admin stuff. So let's go do that. Rap to you real quick. I wanna enjoy the luxury of life. Ain't pushing out his baby till he bought a rock. Hey, yo, I've been long, I've been caught. Hey, say, Chamley. Morning, guys. Wednesday morning, I'm about to go into the gym. I actually think I might record in the gym today. I always forget to record. And I'd be like, I'm going to gym, guys, and then never record anything. So we're doing legs today. My skin is looking so beautiful at the moment. Like, have you seen the glow? I feel like this camera sort of like blurs it already, but it's glowing i'll tell you that so oh i'm a little bit tired i'm a little bit achy but let's get into it get my nails done i'm so excited i've had these on for like four weeks and i'm gonna get an infill but this was an infill already so i'm actually amazed at how long they've lasted after that i think i'm gonna go on a walk around the park look at the sun shining on my face it's so nice hello my darlings i'm just about to go to bed but i'm realizing i didn't end the video and i didn't show you my nails so this is what i got in the end it's basically like silver chrome drip they're so good. I really do love them. This top is completely pointless because all the buttons have popped off on it. So there's like one button left. <laughs> so I'm probably exposing myself right now. But I'm about to go to bed right now. Just done my skincare routine. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you soon with a new one. There will be more vlogs coming because like I said, I'm going to London this week and again next week. I also have some different fun videos planned in between that as well. So I'll see you all soon. Thank you so much for watching. And if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. And follow me on all my other social medias because I'm uploading there daily. Okay, love you all. See you soon.